Hello friends, here we are at the lecture number 19th of our microbiology lecture series and we've been talking about antibiotic mode of action and this video is not going to be an exception. Here we are going to talk about the DNA synthesis inhibitor kind of antibiotics and we are going to see the mode of action of DNA synthesis inhibitors. So if you want to learn more about this, this video is just for you. Stay tuned and continue to watch this video. Now the fourth type, nucleic acid inhibition, nu nucleic acid inhibitors. So we've talked about cell wall inhibitors uh, and we have also talked about protein synthesis, 50s, 30s inhibitors, cell membrane inhibitors we'll see later. So this, the, the, the nucleic acid inhibitors means those antibiotics which are going to destroy the DNA, okay? Quinolones, nalidixic acid, destroy the DNA. So this, this, uh, like particularly, the DNA replication process requires the topoisomerase, enzyme like DNA gyrase. Gyrase is going to cause the, the supercoiling. It allows uh, to reverse the supercoiling so that the DNA gets relaxed while there is, uh, while the movement of the replication fork, uh, the gyrase is going to cause the relaxation of the DNA so that uh, the DNA replication can continue. But this nucleic acid, this gyrase has two activities. One is cleaving the double-stranded DNA and then again sealing uh, the nick of the DNA. Now, uh, this this quinolones, what they do is that they will destroy the ligase activity of gyrase. As a result of which, gyrase will destroy the DNA. It can cleave the DNA, but it cannot re-ligate the DNA. So thus, uh, gyrase are turned into endonucleases. So uh, it's going to destroy the DNA inside the cell. Okay. So the quinolones that we know of, uh, there are four different generation, first, second, third and fourth. Example, nalidixic acid, mode of action blocks A subunit of uh, DNA uh, gyrase and as a result, it not only blocks the subunit of the DNA gyrase but also rendering that subunit or, or the DNA ligase activity of the gyrase inactive. As a result of which the DNA gyrase is acting as endonuclease only and is going to destroy the DNA. Results in bactericidal means the bacterial death. Fluoroquinolones, example fluoxacine. They are second generation quinolones, example levofloxacin, norfloxacin, and we are going to use norfloxacin mostly in enteric I mean, I mean infections. Okay, so mode of action binding uh, to the DNA gyrus binds to the topoisomerase 4 and we know what topoisomerase 4 uh, does. Topoisomerase 4 binds to the double-stranded DNA, it cleaves both the strands of the DNA, pass the other DNA strands through, the, through it and then re-ligate it, thus relieving the supercoiling. That's the job of the gyrase. So first job is endonuclease and the second job is ligase. So now uh, this fluoroquinolones like norfloxacins, they are going to destroy the ligase function and property of gyrase, leaving the gyrase uh, and converting the gyrase to as only an endonuclease. So gyrase is going to only cleave the DNA but it cannot re-ligate the DNA as it used to do. So as a result of which uh, all the DNA that we know during the DNA replication process, once uh, they try to remove the supercoiling, they are ending up in the double-stranded DNA break. And we know double-stranded DNA break in huge amount cannot be repaired in that small amount of time. That leads to uh, the defect in the DNA and thus leads to the death of the cell. So results in the DNA uh, blockage of the DNA repair, replication and transcription, further cell death. Although fluoroquinolones worked quite well earlier, against uh, different infections but uh, then the bacteria also developed idea to escape the fluoroquinolones activity and uh, what was that you know they modify the DNA gyrase in such a way so that it's not going to interact with uh, I mean it's not going to interact with the fluoroquinolones anymore this is the first thing the primary thing that they can do second uh, sort of modification is that this it starts synthesizing short DNA fragment to trick quinolones Okay, so, and, and, and the third thing is that efflux, efflux pump. So they have the active transport pump. Through that pump, the fluoroquinolones can be taken out. But meanwhile, the fluoroquinolones can do the damage to the DNA. So what they will do is that they start synthesizing very small DNA, very small double-stranded DNA at the beginning of the DNA replication. Okay. And fluoroquinolones are going to bind with the small DNA and start to cut those DNA. And those DNA are of no use by the bacteria because 
then they are not supposed to be produced but producing them okay so here they are going to uh, produce a small dna fragment so that the fluoroquinolones are going to act on them cleave them and meanwhile they develop this a uh, flux pump activity to pump out the fluoroquinolones uh, out of this bacterial cell so this is uh, one way to get resistance against fluoroquinolones now we are going to see the fifth type you know uh, fourth type actually not the fifth type here because we have the cell membrane inhibitors and this is the metabolic pathway inhibitors metabolic path pathway inhibitors metronidazole okay activated by bacteria only it nicks the dna to fragment strand okay and used in anaerobic infections mostly in trade name flagyl metrozil that we usually use for the enteric infections so what it does is that um, uh, it's going to it has multiple actions actually it's going to oxidize the ferrodoxin okay from the reduced form convert it so a metabolic pathway is involved with it apart from that the other job of metronidazole uh, is also destroying the dna so it's going to fragmentize the dna okay uh, it nicks the dna and it's not going to cleave the complete strand like both the strands of the dna but it can create nick in different locations in the dna that leads to the shattering of the dna and uh, rifampin rifampin is semi synthetic okay for mycobacteria it's used for the treatment and gram negative bacteria example rifampicin mode of action binds to the rna polymerase and it prevents the transcription or uh, mrna synthesis in the bacteria okay by modifying the polymerase in such a way so that the polymerase cannot function in polymerizing the mrna Hopefully you understood the mechanism of uh, DNA synthesis inhibitor antibiotics. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you receive all the notification from our end because we are preparing new video series on biostatistics and bioinformatics and uploading it very very soon.